hello i am vetata nana I, on this platform i make videos on vlogs cooking i share my christian journey sometimes i talk about my lifestyle i do everything here that is why i am versatile and so anything that is worth talking about worth sharing i bring it to you i live in ghana ghana is an african country and you know the natural environment you will hear children shouting jiggling laughing you will see mommy going up and down you will see you will hear bears chirping anything that you see in this video please take it to be part of the prop yeah it should be considered as background it will make the video more natural <laughs> if you hear nature is also at the other side so if you hear her talking mm -hmm, all this should be considered as so today i am here to expose myself to you i am here to share with you my secrets and i have all of them in this basket my goodies they are all here i am here to share with you how to manage your heavy flow menstruation and so if you are interested in knowing all the secrets that i have in this video keep watching and i'll be right back I realized that or I got to know that those of us who have heavy flow our menses is within five to seven days for me the first day the flow is lighter but the day two and day three it is heavy if I say heavy it is super heavy and I feel so light in those days in those days in those two days i feel weak i lose appetite i sometimes i used to feel dizzy but the dizziness is no more i'll tell you why it is no more sometimes the flow comes as if i am peeing yes i am weary you see when you weary then it will stop then small one be back catch yeah, then that one will come that is how sometimes i feel it flows ta -ta 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 like ghana water that is how serious my flow is so in such periods or days when i i want to get up i do check check you, you look left you look right uh-huh like uh acrobat will say do not look left or right but for me i look left right i look at who is whether i have stained myself i don't feel so so confident in such days if that is your experience please share in the comment section the essence of this video is to bring to light what some of us are going through if your flow is normal if you don't have heavy or um or painful menses i'm giving you a reason to be so thankful okay. to god one other thing that i i used to see in my in my menses is when i wake up in the morning i i wet my bed with blood it's not stain no i don't stain i wet my bed with blood because i sleep with my belly on the bed i sleep belly down what i am sharing with you is something that i have shared with other ladies they are doing it and they are now fine what should you do you should try as much as possible to avoid sugar for me because i don't like a uh, porridge meal, those things i don't take in much sugar and i also don't like biscuits i don't like sugary food but i know that the food that i consume uh, in the long run tends to sugar <laughs> but as as much as possible avoid refined sugar or you eat less of 
refined sugar when i'm in my menses again anytime i want to laugh i restrain myself from laughing sometimes you don't have to do something impulsive as i am seated if i want to rise and i rise abruptly if i i rise suddenly it would be as if that they have opened the cup and sometimes whenever i feel so much pain whenever i i i i feel the pain i feel that i feel like the v is it's not the womb for me it's not the uterus it's as if the v is being it as it will be she at the end every time i feel like that then it means that i am coming to do bang bang my it's, it's it, it will be coming in cloth pa, 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 like that so i spoke with my gynecologist i went to the hospital and then he uh, he recommended that i take a iron based uh, capsules every day so he prescribed when it was a stream he recommended Totima. I will bring a picture for you to see that that drug, that medicine. You dilute it in water. I was given it. I think it's thirty in a box. I was given three straight up. So you can imagine how serious it is. That drug. People take it once a day, but in that period i was taking it one morning one evening one morning one evening one morning one evening then it came it became okay my blood level was becoming okay then he followed it up with a ferroglobin capsule so that's when i was taking it a day every day once a day one in a day i was prescribed to take the ferrosulfate uh -huh. it is green it is green i should take it one one daily one daily one daily and with the ferroglobin and the potima i was very strict because i knew that i had a problem but when the the blood level came up became normal instead of taking the the ferrosulfate every day i decided to take uh, turkey berries that is why i eat i drink i chew turkey berries as if i am not okay so that should answer why because in my weight loss jenny someone uh, commented that it could be from the turkey berries which is possible but the turkey berries i take them as medicine yeah i take them as medicine i hate taking medicines i hate being on medication but i cannot take um that capsule every day every day every day when i take it continuously anytime i have as a net a bone woman so that is why i resorted to the natural way eating turkey berries i put it in my stews in my soups everything me akakusia besides egg and then uh, in my water so in some cases i i add it to my juices so coming back to one other thing that i am doing that is so helpful i want to be practical with you here so what i use is this yes you are seeing it right i use this the when it comes to pads there are so many on the market but this is what i use i use yes and then the move because this one they say it is extra long so i have with me here elijah she's mommy's daughter so i take one diaper you know i am bigger than the diaper but it helps me in those heavy menstrual days and also at night anytime i sleep when i i sleep i make sure that the back becomes shorter and then the front becomes very long so it covers up to this part so when i lie down no matter how heavy i flow i still become safe so assuming this is me 
after wearing it yes of course these sides are going to be like this and i will wear a very tight panty so this is how it will look like on me but you will not see it because i will not wear uh, fittings on such days for it to be perfect at my back anytime i'm in my menses i go with flare and even with this i make sure that i change every two hours unless it's in the night that's one day i can sleep with it the whole night and i will neither stain or wet the bed so with the pad this is my panty yeah on those days i don't do a slim fit i don't do jeans strength i go the bed sheet way yeah the obolo way the bed sheet way so with this you take the extra long i will take one like this and then i put it here for this to cover up to this side yes so when i lay it like this you see where it is yes so what about this side if i should sit in my menses with it as it is i'm going to stain here so i'll add up and then come and start from here I will put it here like this so that it can go up to this part but anytime I feel that pump I will quickly rush to the washroom wherever I am to go and change but in those heavy 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 situations this is what I use so from the four or the five up to the last day I go one one with this and i make sure that everyone are uh, i'll change everyone are uh, i'll change before i change to i make sure that i use a wipe not tissue paper because blood smells i don't use tea roux. i use a wipe to clean myself before i put in a new sanitary towel i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like the video give it a thumbs up share and comment why you should share is for others to also know this great hack and do it until i come your way again with another video i plead that whenever you say a prayer you don't forget to say one for me and my household and i leave you with the peace and the message of the most high Peace, oh yeah, say shalom and chop peace. Mm -hmm. Bye bye.